Hello students and welcome to this calculus video. In this unit we're going to start learning about antiderivatives and in this lesson we're going to find antiderivatives also known as indefinite integrals of polynomial functions. So let's get started. So you might be wondering here if I had to explain to a friend who's brand new to calculus how to find the derivative of a polynomial function something like 2x squared what are you going to tell them? Well, you're going to tell them two things, that you're going to take that exponent, you're going to bring it down, you're going to multiply it by that coefficient, and then you're just going to subtract one from that exponent. That's it. So when we're talking about antiderivatives, in order to find the antiderivative, you just go in that opposite direction. You're going to add one to the exponent, and then you're going to divide the coefficient by that new power. When we're finding these antiderivatives, we're going to be introducing some new notation. So right here we have the integral. This is the integrand and then dx right there is the variable of integration. But as we're finding um, some integrals or some antiderivatives, you might notice that we're going to run into a problem. And that problem is, okay, if I'm going down and I wanna go back in that other direction. So when we find that antiderivative, I could basically come up with any function. For example, if I have the function 4x and I want to think, okay, what is that antiderivative for that? Well, it's 2x squared, but it could also be 2x squared plus 1. It could be 2x squared minus 1. It could be 2x squared plus 100. 2x squared minus 100. And anytime we're adding those constants, because the derivative of a constant is 0, but when we're going back in the other direction, we don't have any information on that constant. So since we don't know any information about that constant, we always add in a constant when we find that antiderivative, and that's just gonna be de denoted with plus C at the end of any of these problems. All right, so let's take a look at these problems now. Okay, so here in our first problem, we wanna find that antiderivative 3x squared plus 2x plus three. So as we do this, I'm going to add 1 to the exponent, so 3x to the third, and I'm going to divide it by that new exponent, so over 3. Here, I'm going to add 1 to the exponent, so 2x squared, and divide by that new result. Here, I'm going to add 1 to the exponent, so 3x to the first, and I'm going to divide by 1. And now we always need to add in a constant, plus c. Now it's just about cleaning up some of this stuff. All right, so three divided by three, that's gonna get me x cubed, and then plus x squared plus three x plus c, and that is going to be our result. So for these next three problems, I kind of want you to write them out just like this. There's gonna be some rewriting involved and then come back and check your answers. All right, and that is going to be all of our answers here. Remember, whenever you have something like one over x or x to the negative first, that's gonna be the natural log. So you don't wanna forget something like that. A lot of people struggle when they have uh, square roots in their denominator, and that's because they're adding one and they forget like that negative. So just go through those slowly. You're gonna see that pattern. You're gonna be more comfortable with those fractions, adding one to the negative one half. Just keep in mind when you're dividing by that, you're just going to multiply by that reciprocal. So here, when I have two divided by one half, I'm just taking two times two. And that's going to conclude this first video. In our next video, we're going to start to tackle some of those trig antiderivatives. So stay with me. Of course, if you didn't get one of the answers to any of these examples, please reach out to me so I can help you out. I'm Mr. Hernandez, and this was Mr. Hernandez Teaches.